Welcome to my newest video. Today I will bring you a special video camera comparison between the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, Galaxy S24 Ultra from Samsung and the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 with which I'm recording this bit here. Of course I will test all three devices at day and at night so you can get a good comparison which of those three devices is superior while recording. Obviously the DJI Osmo Pocket has some advantages with its built-in gimbal, the one-inch sensor, it has good night performances, but how well do the phone stack up against this? Is the camera like the DJI Osmo Pocket needed for you, or is the phone just enough to record even your holiday trips with it? Hi everybody, today I want to compare with you the video modes of the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Xiaomi 14 Ultra to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm recording now in 4K with 30 frames per second using the front facing cameras of both phones. You can feel already that the small pocket has a wider view field, which we could even widen a bit with an attachment. But not leave it like this. And one of the best features of the Osmo Pocket is, of course, the active track where the Gimbal will rotate around me, no matter where I will move, camera will follow me. It is a very nice feature, especially for vlogging. And of course, no matter how you film, you always have the best quality. So if you want to see yourself, see what you film, of course the smartphones will only give you the onboard option too. Use the front facing cameras which are always not the best cameras but with the Osmo Pocket you don't have this issue you have your screen, you can see yourself and you can record in the best available quality but just one time for comparison let's attach this little lens and now we have an even wide angle it's like a little ultra wide lens adapter So generally speaking the S24 Ultra is the closest to the face, the Xiaomi Ultra is a bit wider and then of course the Osmo Pocket 3 gives you the most field. And now some footage in 4K, 60 frames per second using both main lenses. Let's go to the ultra wide on both phones. So we have wider viewing field here as well. I'm not using the lens adapter this time on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Just the standard lens here. Finally it is a beautiful day of Mr. Blue Sky. Finally showed himself. A very important aspect of video recording is of course the voice quality, especially if you want to make some vlogs, it's important that the viewers can listen to you very good. And depending on which version of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 you order, you could get this DJI mic included, it is a creator combo kit I think it is called, it is a wireless mic, it connects wirelessly to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and it enhances the voice quality a lot my eyes so let's compare all three one time show me 14 ultra microphone test of course you could also get external mics for the other two phones but of course you also could get an external gimbal and so on and so on but now that just test what they have on board now the galaxy s24 ultra the microphone and now direct to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, the external microphone, the DJI mic. Which of those three do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. While neither phone can compare to the steadiness of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because of the built-in gimbal, both phones offer an extra steady mode, super steady on the S24 Ultra. 
and Steady Video Pro on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, while the S24 Ultra lets you shoot in Quad HD with 30 or 60 frames per second. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra just offers 1080p and 30 frames per second. So let's now one time compare all three to each other while running. Here we go. And, and now some footage at 4K 30 frames per second using the front facing cameras on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and the S24 Ultra and the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has active track enabled just so you know you can see it I really like this feature a lot This is, by the way, since it is a front-facing camera, it's the normal video mode of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. I will be activating the night video mode later as well, and I will compare to the low light of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, so we can see which performs better. The S24 Ultra does not have any mode like this, so you won't see any difference there. So now I activated the video night mode of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. It is 4K and 24 frames per second. Can't change the frames unfortunately here. And uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has a low light profile as well. There I can change the frames to up to 30 frames per second, but I also stick to 24 here. And the Samsung S24 Ultra obviously doesn't have a night mode or low light profile for videos, so I just have it on here as a comparison. Recording normally in 4K with 30 frames per second. From my experience with this low light video mode, it is adding a bit of brightness, but the picture it is just too messy too much jiggling and those issues won't be present on the DJI Osmo Pocket because of the built-in gimbal obviously time flip around have me on the focus now see how it will affect now the picture quality active track is not activated on the Osmo Pocket 3 so the camera is moving around a bit I can't see myself this time so I flipped the full tripod here Some more footage in 4K, 30 frames per second, using the main lenses on both phones. I have here also again the DJI mic. Let me just turn it on. Now it should get connected. So sound should also now come from here. One of my favorite things about the Osmo Pocket 3 next to the active track is obviously also that no matter which direction you film you have the same quality you're filming yourself you're filming whatever you want this obviously is not the case when you're using the front facing cameras of your phone they are generally always weaker than the main lens the freedom of just easily switching between front side and back side you can just do it again just three clicks on this button and I am back here 
and again three clicks and picture is flipped to the front again it is very nice and very smooth also and of course the stabilization due to the gamble is much much better and a big bonus while shooting at night I'm walking here. I can see that the show me, especially in the S24 drives, will have a little bit of issue with the reflection of the light. I can't make it really out here on the Osmo Pocket that much on the little screen. Have to check it out later. But also, generally speaking, the field of view is wider here on the small pocket. You could even get a wider one with a lens adapter. So if your purpose is to vlog in the holiday or wherever, the Osmo awesome pocket is really perfect for this. Especially if you make little trips at night as well. And in the end, some footage with 60 frames per second recording in 4K. Overall, again, the picture looks best on the DJ Awesome Pocket 3, but of course, also, I'm judging here from the little screen. But I guess in the end, it will also be superior. Let's judge this later. Now I'm walking this pass, which is a bit darker than before the area. Here we have some light, but just pass through here. And this area on the left is actually completely dark. Almost pitch black here now. Can't really see anything except of the lights and the distance on the screens. Want to flip around the whole tripod. No idea if you can see me now. You can't. And back we go. Up there, the moon is shining, but it is not really clear because of the clouds. And that's it for my comparison between the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and the DJI Osso Pocket 3. Which of those three devices do you think came out on top? For me, it is very obviously the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. If you want to record videos, especially in holidays, if you want to make vlogs, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has a clear edge over the other two phones. I think both phones are doing a good job. I have seen way worse performing smartphones when it comes to video recording, but especially at night, the DJI Osmo Pocket has a clear edge. Both phones really don't hold a candle against it. And the video night mode of the Show Me 14 Ultra is really not that useful also. So if your main target is to have a good camera, maybe for the holidays, want to go on a beautiful trip, want to film your daily vlogs or whatever, the DJ Osso Pocket 3 is a really great purchase in my eyes, especially if you get the creative combo where you get the DJI mic included which really will boost your audio performance as well. I linked all devices below. Please let me know in the comments what you think is a 
dedicated device like the DJI Awesome Pocket really worth it for recording videos or do you just stick to your mobile phones? Please like and subscribe. I will have a dedicated camera comparison between the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and the Galaxy S24 Ultra coming out soon as well. There we also compare the pictures like usual. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.